I'm Rainier Brunchens. I am the deputy director um, at Roswell Park as well as the chair of medicine. So I grew up in Buffalo um, and I went to the waterfront school for grade school, which is still there. Uh, and then subsequently I graduated from Canisius High School in 1985 and then went to Davidson College in North Carolina where I graduated in 1989 with a degree in history. I subsequently joined uh, the University of Buffalo MD-PhD program um, where I got my PhD in microbiology and immunology and I completed my MD degree here as well. From 1996 to 1998, I studied internal medicine at Yale New Haven Hospital in Connecticut and then started my training in medical oncology at Sloan Kettering Cancer Center in 1998, at which point I stayed there for 23 years working uh, on the leukemia service in the laboratory developing immune-based therapies for patients with leukemias, which has resulted in the development of what we call chimeric antigen receptor T cells or CAR T cells, which are simply a patient's own immune cells that have been genetically engineered in the laboratory by investigators like myself to now recognize targets on their cancer cells. And these cells are then infused back into the patients and can induce remissions in many of the patients that would otherwise have few options left. More recently, I was uh, recruited or asked to, to come here with the intent of developing our cell therapies, both in the laboratory as well as in the clinic, to transform Roswell Park into a lead center in the country, if not the world, for cell therapies for patients that have cancer. Over my career span, we've learned much, much more about the immunology of cancer and how cancer cells can subvert the immune system and evade the immune system. But we've also learned more about ways that we can adjust or, or modify the immune system to overcome some of the ways that the cancer cell tries to evade that. And ultimately, it's my hope, and I hope to see this, um, is that we do away with these very nonspecific and very toxic chemotherapies, and that ultimately we start to treat cancers, both solid and liquid tumors, um, utilizing these types of engineered uh, immune-based therapies. What also uh, gives me a lot of satisfaction, um, uh, certainly at this stage, I, I clearly remember when, when I was training, when I was a graduate student, there were, there were faculty that, 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 that went out of their way to, to, to help make me into the scientist that I'm, I am today. And I similarly get a, a great deal of, of enjoyment out of seeing young graduate students, four, five, sometimes six years later, graduate as, 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 as true bona fide uh, scientists. The mentoring um, that I do is something that very surprisingly, because it wasn't necessarily a primary goal, but it's been something that certainly in the last 10 years has given me some of the greatest satisfaction.